everybody, this is Peter here at H&M Realty to talk about rates and interest rates that you'll get on a loan. Hey everybody, I know that there's big talk in interest rates grabbing a lender that's gonna be good for you as a buyer and where the rates are today, where they're gonna go. There's a lot of different topics that someone could talk about with this. Um, I haven't gone over rates at all really, so I wanna to touch on it a little bit and then I'll do some more follow-up videos on interest rates, You know, what would be best for you as a buyer, everything else, and maybe I'll bring in a lender that can give some more insight on that. Um, so the biggest thing I can say about rates is they fluctuate on a daily basis, as everybody knows. Um, so if you're purchasing a $500,000 property, you look at an interest rate at 4%, you're looking at, you know, at the end, the life of that loan, once that ends in 30 years, it's gonna be a little over $800,000 of what you paid. I know that's a little tough, and when you go to sign documents at escrow, when you're finishing up, you're gonna realize that when you look to see what the rate's gonna be and the, you know, the closing disclosure, you're gonna have a lot of that. So take a look at that. Um, the next thing I would definitely take a look at is you know, if that interest rate bumps to 5%. That is gonna be an extra $106,000 on a $500,000 home that you're gonna pay at the, end of the year, at the end of the life. So what I said about 4%, that's gonna be over $800,000. We get in at $900,000 over that when we get into the 5% at $500,000 um, purchase price. So you look at those and you realize, okay, that's a lot of money. That's, you know, that's why you gotta shop around, you gotta shop for the rate, you gotta make sure that it depends on what you're spending, how much you're gonna spend over the length of the loan and um, what the options that lender is giving you. So, you know, there's a couple of things that you want to be uh, particular about as a buyer. You want your FICO score to be high, right? You want it to be as high as possible because that's going to decrease the loan um, amount. And well, it will decrease the interest rate, which in turn will decrease the loan amount. So that's going to help you out as a buyer with more purchasing power. So you want as high as you can on that FICO score. Um, the next thing is the money down, right? As a buyer, you want as much money down as possible. And I, I get, I completely understand that, you know, maybe you can only put 10% down, 15% down. Once you get to 20% down, that's huge. Because as a buyer, once you're putting 20% down, you're realizing that you don't have to pay PMI. You can take that PMI off the table and that's an extra 10, 15, you know, whatever amount, usually it's about $100 to $150 a month, depending on the price of the loan, that you're gonna pay less if you hit that 20% mark. So as a buyer, yeah, you wanna be 20% down. Some people can't make that happen, but there's other people like veterans that can take a VA loan and purchase at 15% and not have to worry about PMI. And there's certain lenders that won't put PMI on the loan. That's like a portfolio lender and that's a completely different subject. But make sure that you're going through all these questions with the lender because you're gonna spend a lot of money and make sure that your agent is getting you in touch with lenders that can give you the best rate, can make sure that it's gonna be the, the best loan for you percentage-wise percentage and also closing cost fees, everything else that I've spoke about before with closing costs and all that. Make sure that these are all covered by the lender and also the agent that you found and that's assisting you in the purchase. Um, also, when you're going through, make sure that um, you don't have a lot of debt if you can make that happen. So if you've paid off a car recently, that's gonna help you out. Uh, if you have a boat, you know, if you have a, you know, a currently, you know, a second out on a motor home or something like that, those particular items are gonna either help you or hinder you in getting that loan at a better rate and also help you with getting a better loan on the house. So you wanna make sure you cover all those with the lender. Um, 
it really is um, advantageous for you as a buyer that you go over all these particulars with the lender because they can really assist you and be able to maximize your ability to purchase the home and then also minimize what you're gonna buy that home for over the longevity of the life. And then when I talked about the, you know, the 15 year loan, that's a huge plus. Yeah, you're gonna have a bigger payment, but you're also gonna be able to get a lower rate, a lot lower rate with a 15 year versus a 30 year loan. So, and I'm talking about a fixed loan. I'm not talking about a, an adjustable mortgage because adjustable mortgages can go up. If the interest rates go up, usually, you know, after about five years, they start ticking up, depending on what the adjustable rate is. But you wanna be sure that you're going over the particulars on what, how long the loan is. So if you get a 15 year loan, you're looking at lower interest rate, you're still looking at you know, 10, 15, 20% down, but you're looking at a higher mortgage as well. So you want to look at those to see if you would be able to actually qualify for that type of loan. And then if you're gonna afford that loan versus how much you're making on income. So go over that with the lender, go over that with your real estate professional they'll be able to tie you in with a great lender. And if they don't, then have them give you another option. So those are, I know it's a lot of general information, but some tidbits in there will help you out and guide you to the right place on who you need to go to to find that great loan for you. So hopefully that helped you out. Leave some comments below. If you guys have any questions, let me know, all right? And I'll talk to you soon.